Bitcoin had a turbulent year through 2021, but the cryptocurrency is still trading at over 108% up over prices last year around the same time. Crypto investors are seeing a lot of hope for its future and even experts believe that they can act as a shock absorber against inflation. Now, inflation is generally considered to be a positive attribute of a healthy economy, but it is leading to a lot of market participants turning their hard-earned money into a store of value investments like stocks, bonds, gold, and more recently, cryptocurrency. What is holding back a lot of investors from trusting crypto with large portions of their savings? It is volatility. I'm Cyrus and this is Crypto Unfiltered and this week I take you through an interesting concept known as token burning, the NFT adoption backlash and a quick run through of all the big events in the cryptoverse. So let's begin. If you are new to cryptocurrencies, I'm sure the phrase coin burn might have you scratching your head wondering why someone needs to burn the coins simply put coin burn is a process where miners and developers remove a certain amount of coins from circulation it is a process of destroying the coin so that it is not available for further use trading or otherwise the developers and miners send the coins to a specialized address whose private keys are not accessible they then publish a proof of burn algorithm to the market to allow investors to cross verify what they've just done. Anyone who owns a cryptocurrency can burn it, but it's not exactly something you'd want to do for no reason since it's essentially throwing money away. Yeah. Most of the time, it's the developers of a cryptocurrency who decide to burn a certain amount. Coin burning reduces the supply, making tokens of that particular cryptocurrency scarcer. The scarcity can lead to an increase in price and benefit investors. One burn event of sorts that did catch a lot of attention is when the developers of Shiba Inu gave half of the supply of SHIB tokens to Vitalik Buterin, the co-founder of Ethereum blockchain in 2021. He promptly burned 90% of those tokens and donated the rest. Can a whale account one day burn a lot of coins to shoot up its value? Who knows? But these are hypothetical instances one should not worry about a lot, at least for your crypto's sake. Now let's find out what are the new trends shaping the crypto world and what is significant about those trends. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs are literally everywhere, be it superstar actors, cricketers, retired boxing legends or music labels. Everyone's trying to launch NFTs, but not everyone is convinced that they're the next big thing after sliced bread just yet. As social media giants like Twitter and Facebook bet big on crypto and start hiring dedicated teams to look into developments, users of the community-driven platforms like Discord aren't very happy about where all of this is headed. Discord CEO Jason Citron recently took to Twitter to post a screenshot of the company's app testing support for Ethereum-based wallets like Metamask and Wallet Connect. Unfortunately, the post backfired with many users in the community criticizing the decision vehemently. Within days, Citroen backpedaled and said that Discord has no plans of integrating NFTs and crypto just yet, despite its internal build. Similarly, another popular Twitter alternative in Mastodon tweeted out that the platform isn't planning to take to the NFT or crypto for monetization anytime soon, a move that was immediately lauded by its users. Clearly, the sentiment is mixed when it comes to NFTs. Whether or not they have a bright future in the crypto ecosystem is something we'll find out in the days to come. Till then, would someone be interested in buying my NFT? Uh, it's on sale, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
Soon after Bitcoin and Ether reached an all-time high, both popular coins have dropped massively in value, charting multi-week lows and trading at levels that are well below their 50-day moving averages. While experts believe this is only a healthy correction, an immediate swing isn't in sight right now. Ripple, Cardano, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu all made similar losses as global crypto market capitalization sees a considerable slide of 15% over the past 7 days. Elsewhere, the metaverse is keeping its bullish momentum. Metaverse tokens and gaming tokens seem to be a lot in the news recently. Mana, the virtual currency in Decentraland, rose by 45.6% in the past 7 days. Sand, the native cryptocurrency of the metaverse platform, the Sandbox, has rallied 85% since its launch earlier this week to a new record high. Earlier this week, the platform announced its highly anticipated play to earn metaverse event. In the world of meme coins, meanwhile, Shiba Inu passed Dogecoin in total value, which means a token that started life as a meta joke beat the original. Both coins haven't been cleared of the overall dip in value that most coins have suffered, but it's still neck and neck between these two as mainstream adoption of the Shiba Inu coin are on the rise. Time to look at how major tokens are performing because as an investor, you need to keep an eye out on details like these. If we look at our crypto tracker for the week, we can see that Bitcoin is up by 1.41% while Ethereum has dropped by 2.31%. Both Cardano and Dogecoin have suffered a drop of 0.20% and 2.35% respectively while Tether is up by 2.01%. Crypto's future in India is yet to be decided as the Indian government still has to take a call about regulation policies and there has to be a lot of chatter coming about in recent days. So don't worry, we will be keeping you updated about all that is happening in our future episodes. That's it for Crypto Unfiltered this week. If you have any questions about cryptocurrencies or jargon, do send them across to our Twitter and Facebook pages and we'll have an expert answer them for you. This is Cyrus John signing off with the promise that I will be back with more crypto next week. See you soon.